One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> This week we're going to break down the classic song Life is Like a Mountain Railroad, also called Life's Railway to Heaven in the Key of G. I kept the arrangement pretty simple for this lesson and we're going to work on playing the melody, bringing out the melody in a bluegrass banjo style. I'm going to break down the verse solo note for note and the chorus solo note for note and give you some right hand tips on again how to accent and bring out the melody. And then for the backup section we're going to break down how to play down the neck rolling backup while staying away from the melody and also some basic up the neck vamping backup. Up. I'm going to break it all down right now. And if you're watching the preview of this lesson, you can head over to my website, MikeHeadingMusic.com, and grab the full-length lesson. You'll get access to watch all the videos, and you can download the tabs and the practice tracks. All right, here is Life is Like a Mountain Railroad in the Key of G. All right, let's start breaking down this Life is Like a Mountain Railroad in the Key of G. Let me play the first five measures, and we'll start breaking it down. Here we go. that a few times. One more time, real slow. Okay, so we're going to start with a simple pickup on the third string. On beat three, we're going to hit the open third string with our thumb of our right hand. And then our second finger on the second fret of the third string for beat four. And our thumb of our right hand again. It's going to set up a two to four slide, so we're just going. So one, two, three, four. So not too hard there. Let's do that one more time. One, two. Now for measure two, we're going to do a slide with a forward roll. So thumb, index, middle, T-I-M. Right as I get up to that fourth fret, I'm hitting my index finger, my right hand. It's the same note. Your banjo's in tune, so we have. So I did strings three, two, one there. And then go up and do five, two, one, another forward roll. And then we need two more notes to end the measure. Thumb index, five, two are my strings. So we have. Let's do that a few times. Don't slide too quick, that's my beginner tip. Get a solid first note before you start sliding. It's very common to, to get excited and try and slide too quick. So get a solid first note there. And the melody there is open third string, second fret of the third string, and then open second string. So we're, what we're doing there is we're finding that note, the open second string, on a lower string. So the third string, fourth fret, now sliding into that. We also have a long melody note there. And I'll break down the whole melody in a second. But basically, again, having a really long melody note on the banjo, we don't have a lot of sustain like a violin or something where they can play a long note with their bow. So what we're doing there is filling it up now with a roll. And I'd encourage you, once you get the basic roll down, is to practice accenting your index finger there. We want to make sure that open second string rings out above the rest of the notes, and that's going to make it sound more like the melody. 
measure three, we're gonna hit one more middle finger. So we're actually doing a forward roll crossing the bar line into measure three. And then we're gonna go back to our index finger on the second string, and then open third string, second fret on the third string, and then pinch strings two and one, index middle. So we have, let's do measure three on its own. The first two notes are eighth notes, everything else is quarter notes, so one and two, three, four. Don't rush through those quarter notes. Let's do that a few times. And the melody there is, So we just filled that last melody note up with a pinch. Very common just to fill it up. So again, the melody for the first three measures is. So listen to how we fill that up. If you're having trouble, forget the left hand for a second, just do the right hand. hand back let's speed it up just a little bit one more time so practice that as many times as you need to now measure four keep your second finger down we're gonna play thumb middle third string first string and then a two five slide on the four string four three one so tim and then five three one another forward roll let's do measure four on its own we have there is so we have let's do that a few times so what are we doing there same idea instead of hitting in measure four instead of just hitting the open third string we're taking that same idea as we did before we're finding that note on a lower string now the fifth fret on the fourth string and we're sliding into it and then filling it up with the roll we have instead of you know you could do that if you want a really basic version and then pinch or something but again it sounds way more interesting with the roll now measure five open third string pinch the outside strings five and one and then we're gonna do an open two hammer on on the four string, thumb index, thumb middle, four, three, five, one. And we're basically gonna start going into our C chord. So that's why I'm using my, my third finger up on the second fret of the first string, second finger on the second fret of the lowest string. I'm basically gonna go get into my C position a little early. That's very Scruggs, Earl Scruggs style, to basically go to your C just a little bit early. So that's what I'm doing there. So we have, don't let that hammer on throw off your right hand. Let's do the right hand once it's. So don't let that hammer on throw you off. Let's do the first five. Here we go. One more time, a little faster. We're gonna go into our C, so now we're down in that position. Let's play measure six, and then I'll break it down. So it's. So we did thumb index, three, two are my strings, third string, second string. And then another open two hammer on, and you're already in this position, so basically just stay down. We're gonna do four, three, one, five, three, one, two, four rolls. So T I M, T I M. Be a good one to loop. Six is a good one to loop. Your thumb's really moving around a lot there. Again, we're going from measure five. And now we're down. That's why I went to my C a little early. And the melody there is. So the melody there on the C is the third string. So 
again, we're going into our C. Now keep your right hand moving. Now measure seven and alternating thumb roll, three, two, three, one. And the only thing I'm doing there is moving my second finger down to the third string. So we have first fret on the second string, and now second fret on the third string, first string with your second fret down. So we have, and then back to open third string. Keep the rest of your C down the whole time. So we have. Now back down to the second fret of the fourth string. Open first string. And then we're gonna hit the open fourth string for the beginning of measure eight. Let's do six and seven on its own. We have. That's into measure eight. And right here we're kind of accenting our thumb in measure seven. The melody there. So it's a lot of thumb there. We're also doing the same thing that we did in measure five. We're going to our C a little early. In measure seven, we're actually going back to our G a little early. See that last note is open. It's not the second fret, like if you kept your C down the whole time. I think Earl did that. I don't know exactly why, but my my guess is you're basically, since the songs, a lot of these songs are played faster, you're basically just going to your C a little early and then taking your finger off just a little early to get back to your G. It's a very common Earl Scrugg style banjo. Let's do five through the beginning of eight. Here we go. One more time, a little faster. recommend for those hammer-ons too is just keep your right hand moving if you if you can't get those hammer-ons you know don't worry about it just keep your right hand moving don't let those hammer-ons throw off your timing so measure eight to fill lick open four string and then a forward roll five three one back to your index finger on the third string second fret of the four strings a quarter note so you have one two and three and four is how you count measure eight Beats one and four are quarter notes, so don't rush that. You have. I'm just looping measure eight. Now measure nine, back to your open third string. Pinch the outside strings, five and one. And then open fourth string twice. So these are all quarter notes. You have. Don't rush through that. Let's do eight and nine. Now ten, two. 